Uh, and you, you got a week off. Uh, yeah, I got a, a week off coming up. After this show, I got a week off, so it's going to be great. Do you, uh, do, you, do, you, do you see your family much? Uh, do you... Every, every break, I like to go back and see my, my, my folks, you know, and also mm -hmm. my uncles and aunts and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great people. The old people, you know, what I find about the old people is... <laughs> Just in general. In general, they had so much more interesting lives than we do, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we, you know, we, we, we go out, our generation, we go, okay, hey, let's go to a movie, and then we'll do the laundry and get some quarters for the laundry, and then we'll have a, read the Sports Illustrated, you know, and whatever, uh -huh, right? Right, right. And, but these guys, they had lives, you know? Where they, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. So anyways, for instance... <laughs> My Uncle Phil. You ever meet my Uncle Phil? I didn't meet your Uncle Phil, no. Oh, you didn't? He was... Yeah, we don't know each other that well. <laughs> Remember? That's true. Uh, no, so, I, I've not met your Uncle Phil. He's a good man, Uncle Phil. So he, uh, he was telling me, you know, he's just one of these guys that has so many lives pushed into one. He just does so many things, you know? Mm hmm And he was telling me, he says, he's a kind of a jack-of-all-trades, you'd call him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good phrase. Yeah, he's a jack of all trades. <laughs> so he was telling me, he said, the problem is you're not really appreciated for any single thing because you're so good at so many things. You understand mm -hmm. what I mean? I hear you. Yeah. So he says, he said to me one time, he says, Norm, he says, we were just walking through his, home, his town, you know, mm -hmm. of uh, uh, Monkland, Maine, he lives in. Uh -huh. And uh, we were just walking through the town. He's an old fella, you know? Right, one of the old people. Yeah, he's 80. Yeah, 80, he's okay. 80 years young, he says. Uh huh. <laughs> so he goes, uh, he goes, uh, he goes, Norm, you see that barn over there, he says to me. I look over, there's a barn. I go, yeah, yeah. He goes, I built that barn with my own hands all by myself. Oh. But he goes, do they call me? Do they say, there's Phil, the barn builder? No, sir, he says. I said, yeah, yeah. He goes, look over there. You see that uh, weather balloon? <laughs> he, says, yeah. he, says, <laughs> he says, I, he says, I, you don't know this about me, Norm. He says, I was one of the first men ever to fly in a weather balloon. Wow. He says, but do they say, hey, there goes Phil, the weather balloon pioneer? No. <laughs> he says, look over there. there there's a bakery right. that I started. You know, that mm -hmm. dirty bastard Bob has it now, but I'm the guy that started that bakery. Uh -huh. And I go, all right, all right, easy. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, he goes, I started that bakery and I was the best baker, but does anybody go, oh, there goes Phil, the great baker. No, he says, but he says, let me tell you something, Norm. He says, you have sex with one goat. And... <laughs> He says, people then, they say, there goes Bill, the dirty goat. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs>